Matt, it's amazing how much can change in just 24 hours. Thinking about yesterday when yeah. you were just nonstop weather coverage, and now it's, it's a little bit easier. Yeah, it's a lot quieter in Topeka now than it was about sure. 5 o'clock yesterday. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. I was worried there for a second that we were going to have to head down to the basement. It, you know, we got us. lucky. Had it touched yeah. down, I went back and looked at more and more of those photos. It came right over the studios, so we, we were lucky. That's for Ooh. sure. It was a large part of the western part of the county was, and then the flooding became a problem. Take a look, though, at what we've got now. We've got most of these showers and storms, and even the ones that blossomed this afternoon uh, right along and just west of US 75, moving off to the northeast, turning into a line of thunderstorms. There has been a tornado out of that up around Omaha earlier this afternoon, so things got worse as it moved off to the north. There are some showers that have been moving across Washington and Marshall counties, but they're fizzling out and should continue to fizzle. A nice spiraling system uh, wrapping around it cold enough up to the northwest for snow in South Dakota and northern Nebraska. And that cool air is moving back around the backside of this and certainly keeping our northwestern counties with a much cooler feel to the air this evening than what we had yesterday. A look at KSNT Future Track. This is 8 o'clock tonight. Clouds will still be thick up to the north, but kind of scattered farther south. May see a return to some scattered clouds throughout the course of the night. This will look tomorrow morning, but it should be dry. And a chance to dry out tomorrow with mostly sunny skies south, partly to mostly cloudy skies up to the north at times. And then we head into Friday, maybe a couple of showers in the morning with a better chance for late day showers and some thunderstorms by especially Friday night. At this point, it looks like most of the strongest thunderstorms would stay to our south and east. Looking at the cloud cover over Manhattan right now, still mostly cloudy. Currently in Topeka, partly to mostly cloudy, 62 degrees. The winds are starting to pick up out of the west. Had a couple of inches of rain prior to midnight, two to three inches around Shawnee County or around Topeka. Uh, that was before midnight and an additional six tenths of an inch since midnight. Much of the county saw three to six inches of rain last night, and that was pretty common from Topeka all the way down through Emporia and Burlington. Look at these temperatures, though. 46 degrees right now at Marysville, 49 at Concordia. That colder air is really starting to wrap in. Tack on a wind of 15 to 20 miles per hour, and yeah, maybe approaching May soon, but we've got a wind chill in Marysville in the afternoon of 39 degrees. Definite chill up to the north and northwest, and some of that cooler air will be wrapping into the area tonight as we fall down to 46 in Topeka, likely into the low 40s west and north by tomorrow morning. We'll continue with that west breeze, a cool day, making it back to 66. By late Friday into Friday night, a 60% chance for those showers and storms. Overnight, we'll actually see a really good chance of rain. And then just showers and storms over the weekend with highs in the 60s to around 70 degrees. We'll gradually warm up next week as we start to dry out and clear out as well. Back to the low to mid 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's look at some of the flooding yesterday near the uh, Mill Creek campgrounds at uh, Paxico from Jessica Emthern. Also a look at the, now if you look closely, you look at the sign and where the debris is up on the sign there. That's how high Pillsbury Crossing got from Daniel uh, Caponera. And another look at the Dragoon Creek flooding from Lacey Grady. There's a look at the clouds earlier today from Ashley Kroll, from Kim Dick and Delia as the clouds were building back up, turned into a hailstorm. You can see some hail on the windshield there from Linda Ewell at Silver Lake. Also another one from Joseph Boucher taken at Silver Lake and some of the hail earlier this afternoon in Topeka from Stacy uh, Johnston. And then that was out of here. Now we've got some cooler <laughs> weather moving in. This storm system has been interesting to say the least as it's coming through and now getting into some cool air as we head into the night and early tomorrow. We um, really it dropped everything on us really that yeah. it possibly could and thankfully we made it out without a lot of damage. That's right. The biggest end up turned out the biggest problems were the hail and that flooding sure. which is still yeah. slow to recede. All right.